Hey guys, welcome to Glorious House. So today I am back with an exciting video. I know I say that all the time, but I can't help it. All my videos are exciting. Anyways, I'm back with the video and I am here with my new family. I'm here with the Romanos. And today's video is just family centered and I wanted to explore that type of gameplay. So I will go ahead and just introduce my family before I do that. Thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers now. And follow me on TikTok and on subscribe to my YouTube channel. Fiona is currently a stay-at-home mom. She loves being a mother. She loves that she can stay at home and, you know, do her thing. However, she's in the process of discovering what she wants to do other than just being her, you know, a stay-at-home mom. She is super cheerful. She is super outgoing. She is also super duper high maintenance and she loves her kids so much and she loves her husband who we're gonna meet in a minute here but that's just a few things you should know about fiona she is also married happily happily married so yeah fiona is outgoing she is high maintenance she loves her children she likes baking cooking all the motherly things that one can do she loves and you know motherhood is something that's not really new to her because she has like three kids or four kids but it's something that she enjoys and you know in the future she's not sure if she wants to have more kids because she is pretty young she's like in her early 20s so the next family member i want you guys to meet is mr luca romano luca and fiona ha have been together for like almost 10 years now they are both in their early 20s but they were high school sweethearts they were high school sweethearts and it just happened that they stayed together for a really long time they are madly in love with each other and you know they just have this bond that no one can come in between and you know being a father especially being a father to his kids with Fiona is the best thing that happened to Luca because he just loves loves her that woman so much so he is currently a support technician. He's starting out in his career. He went to college, got his degree. You know, in the beginning of their relationship, like they never lived together. But when they did settle down and start having kids, they had to live together, but they couldn't afford it. So they lived together in Fiona's parents' house, which is where like kind of the beginning of the series happened in Fiona's parents' house. But, you know, now that he has a job, they moved and I'll show you guys their new house. They moved out to a different place and, you know, he loves his job. He loves that he gets to provide for his family like he's always wanted to. So that is where we are at with Luca right now. He's a really hardworking person. And right now he's actually putting together a tree house for his kids to play in, which I think is the cutest thing ever. He is working so hard outside here. And trust me, guys, it is super hot. So the next person in our family I want you to meet is our lovely 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 daughter brielle brielle is the firstborn she is super spoiled one <laughs> and you know that's just mainly because when brielle was born she was the only only kid in the house her grandparents would spoil her so much like she was literally spoiled by everyone and everyone just like knew that she was going to be spoiled just because she was like the first grandkid um <coughs> blah 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 and so she she walks around with that attitude and she forgets that she has three other siblings because of her spoiledness she can be a little bit demanding a little bit fussy and a little bit just too much but you know her parents still love her so much next we have the triplets i'm not going to introduce them each one by one just because you know they're all in separate parts of the room and they are triplets but in fiona's second pregnancy she didn't expect to have triplets and you know them having triplets was what inspired them to finally move and get their own place because they just wanted a bigger place for their kids to grow and for their family to just flourish let's just put it that way so let's go ahead and get into the game play but before we do that i want to give you guys a quick little house tour we are still working on the house but i want you guys to see what progress we have made so far first of all i got this house from the build in um from the gallery so i didn't really build this house but i've just decorated some parts to kind of match the aesthetic i want that you know them to have um so this is our family home we bought it in the middle of nowhere so you know when luca and 
uh, Fiona were looking for houses. They wanted something that was super affordable because he is just early on into his career and he can't afford anything that's pretty expensive or crazy expensive. But they found this house in the countryside and it is ginormous. It is enough space. Look at all the space. Their kids can run around. They can go like this is all for them. Their kids can run around. They can be free. They can be happy, free from anyone it's not too far from like its little town, but it's far from everyone else. So it does take a while for people to come over and visit because we are in a different town, in a different country. So this is our house over here. This is how the entryway looks like. Luke is currently building a tree house over here for the kids, which is so cute. And then in the back here, we have a shed. The house came with a farm and everything. Like the, own, the last owner had a farm and a barn and all that stuff, but Right now, we're currently in the process of figuring out whether we want to keep it or not. You know, as Sienna tries to figure out what she wants to do in her career, she doesn't mind, you know, taking care of the cows or chickens while she's, you know, a stay-at-home mom because she has nothing else to do other than, like, other than obviously taking care of her kids. So I will go ahead and give you guys a quick little house tour of our house inside. We are still renovating, still furnishing and decorating so yeah let's go ahead and give you guys the house tour so this cu cute little area here this is our entryway i wanted the entry to be somewhere where when i walk in i feel cozy it feels homey so this is what the entry looks like i love the entry and i love this large mirror here and i love that the door is a little bit modern now we're still working on renovations because we don't have all the money in the world but with the little money that we do have we've managed to you know change the floors change the doors and the windows and all that fun stuff you guys can see here this is our entryway and then the master bedroom is actually in here this is their master bedroom. I love, love, love the modern touch to it. It makes it feel like it's not in the countryside. And I think that was what they were going for it because when you have to leave everything behind and move in the middle of nowhere, it's hard and you just want that sense of home or sense of familiarity. You just want that sense of like something feels familiar to you, especially if you've just moved, done a really big move. So... In this cute little area here, we were going to make it our closet, so we're still saving up for that. And then our bathroom looks like this. We still have to do a bathroom renovation. I just We just want it to look a little bit more modern and not like this. So a few things have been changed, but not everything. Then in here, we have our laundry room. I think Fiona actually likes the laundry room the way it is, just because it's a laundry room and it's a bathroom at the same time. It's very convenient. And yeah, our kitchen is the best part i think this is fiona's favorite part of the house just because she loves to cook she loves to bake she loves making meals that's what she does best and so just having the space to do that without having to worry about other things makes her really really happy and then let's move, let's move on to here our dining room we still haven't got our seats because they've not yet arrived yet but they should get shipped like we should be getting them soon but our dining table has no seats but it's okay we don't really need it right now because we have kids and they don't really sit on the dining table then our living room looks like this it's super cozy um still lots of renovation to be done but we put a lot of plants over here just tried to make it look cozy feel like home i think fiona is actually pretty satisfied with this and we might try sell this bookshelf and all this other old stuff but other than that everything in here looks great this is our hallway you know we still have that old heating system and that's gonna stay because it's a really really big like change and it's really expensive then we have our outdoor pool here which i want to do a renovation for just because i feel like it looks a little bit old we might have to do a renovation for that soon we have our outdoor gazebo and our grill which came with the house and the farm and the barn and everything which came with the house then we have the chicken coops here and then up here in the barn it's like a cute little storage area then let's go to the rooms upstairs. The rooms upstairs look like this. We pretty much kind of left it how it already was just because we do have four children. But this is a boy's room and this is a girl's room and then this is our nursery. We don't have room for a guest room yet. But eventually when the kids grow up, we'll change the nursery to a guest room just because we'll have the space for it. But right now 
we don't have the space for a guest room which kind of sucks but it's okay so um yeah that is pretty much the house tour let's go ahead and get into the gameplay so right now i have fiona cleaning up the chicken coop and who would have thought she would have been a farm girl she's not the type of girl to be on the farm doing all this stuff but it's kind of the responsibility she took on just by having this house like them agreeing to have this house was a huge responsibility that they took on so yeah right now i need her to clean up the house and i also want her to like go tend to the children because i think they're getting a little fussy like she made a mess here brielle made a mess and where is she she's just walking around but Brielle made a mess and she's making more messes so I'm gonna need Fiona to tend to her and kind of tell her to stop. So we're gonna go check on Brielle and we're also going to check on her needs and you know talk to her and all that stuff just because I feel like she does need that connection and we've not been able to really do that because we've been busy all morning like we woke up literally you guys and we just like went on to work on the farm and it's not something that we normally do like this is so new to us but we're doing it so yeah brielle is a little sad so i have to go tend to my baby um but yeah that's what fiona is going to do i don't know i don't know why her eyes are so red right now um but i have no idea why her eyes are so red then let's go check on our infants she's just in the crib so i'm gonna have her try to sleep and then Caitlin is literally on the floor. I'm going to have Brielle put her in the crib. I'm going to have Brielle put her in the crib. And then Piper is in the crib. And where's Pat? I'm going to have Brielle put him in the crib as well. We're actually going to put Pat in the back carrier. So she's feeling a lot better and fine now. So Brielle's putting her in the crib. Well, now she's angry. Well, now she's angry from being put down. And so we're going to try to calm her down. We're going to try to soothe her to sleep. Just because, like, why are you angry? It's also 1 a.m. It is dark. Oh, we have some people walking outside. Who are these? Are these our neighbors? I've never... It's my first time living on this part of town. She seems sad. Not in my business. Um. Oh, she put her in the back carrier. And she's. I think she's going to put her down. We're going to kiss her goodnight. We're going to soothe her to sleep. Like, why are all of them mad? And then Pat is angry. Oh, so I guess he doesn't like being held. So Pat does not like being held. So we're going to have him try to go sleep. And then we're going to have her go soothe her. I think she likes being held. And she doesn't want to be put down. So since she's happy, I'm going to have her try to go night-night. Literally, try to go sleep. I guess Pat is having a hard time falling asleep. But, sweetie, I can't help you with that. You gotta figure it out yourself. Um, anyways, let's go check on Brielle. She seems like she's doing fine. Her hygiene is a little low, though. So let's give her a bath. Because she wants us to give her a bath. So let's go ahead and give her a bath. Okay, and then let's check on Luca. He is still building this house, and this is the progress he has made. He's getting a little tired, so we're going to stop over there. And let's go ahead and maybe take a shower, and we can go to sleep. But let's have him take a bath. Okay, new family. When it comes to Fiona and Brielle, a sense of order seems to abound as the younger sim has deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older sim's expectations. For family members with a strict family dynamic, the older sim will ask the younger sim to do things like cleaning, and the younger sim will generally avoid rebelling, though it might get more stressed overall. Would you say that Fiona and Brielle have a strict family dynamic? I think yes. I think especially with Brielle, and Fiona, I think it's very important for her to have a strict 
family dynamic with her because she is a firstborn and she is used to like her grandparents just spoiling her and you know we're not gonna let it slide so right now she's giving brielle a bath which i think it's just glitched i don't know what's going on there luca is just enjoying a bath as well so let's go ahead and speed this up i think she just glitched Okay, so since Brielle seems fine, I'm gonna have her just take put herself to bed. Just cause um just cause yeah. And then it seems like one of her kids is a happy baby in the morning. Um, I'm gonna have Fiona just feed her some milk because it is midnight and I want her to feed her some milk. Then let's go to Luca. He's just finishing up his bubble bath. And he's finally clean because, you know, he's been working all day. And also, guys, I first of all, I don't know why. Don't know why my sims are not going to sleep. But they're not going to sleep. So we're going to maybe try for pregnancy or woohoo and then see how that goes with Fiona. So right now she's just breastfeeding. He has low energy. I think I'm just going to get... I just want to see my sims, like... I just want to see them just nap. Like, sometimes it just feels good when they're all sleeping. You know what I mean? So... Fiona's pretty tired as well, and she needs to use the bathroom. So, let's have her go pee. Really quickly. Now she's just walking around with Piper, and she's going to leave Piper on the ground somewhere. She's going to cradle her. <gasps> I'm dead. She went to pee when she was holding her. That is so funny. Oh, oh god, what's happening? My game is glitching. And she's checking on. And then I think um, Piper's going to try to go to sleep. And then I'm going to have Fiona go use the bathroom really quick. Why are you awake? And he's super sad. He's in a sad mood. Stop. Sleep. So she's focused and she's also having low energy and she's uncomfortable. Um, she's very uncomfortable and very angry. So I don't know what she wants me to do with her high maintenance trait. Like I actually, I have no idea what she wants me to do with that high maintenance trait. So. I'm going to have her just nap here. Oh my god. One of my... <laughs> she just woke up because she doesn't like being up in the morning. Go back to sleep because it's 5 a.m. We're not doing this right now. So, yeah. I think Pat has work in two days. So that's perfect. We get to like have our cute little weekend. Um, I want us to also have a night out in the town. Pat had a blowout. He literally has poop. So, oh my god, it's fall. So, I'm going to wake him up. I know he's not going to like it, but he's gonna. I'm going to have to wake him up. Just because Pat had a blowout. And he, I guess went in his diaper and it blew out everywhere and that is so nasty ew our kitchen is clean though actually our kitchen is filthy let me let me work on like cleaning this up a little bit and then i know it's early in the morning i'm actually gonna have luca make us breakfast because i mean we've had we've been up and everywhere 
all day we haven't like the night before like it would be just nice if he just makes breakfast so i want him to make us eggs and toast or actually eggs and soldier family size so i'm gonna have luca make breakfast but what is he going to do upstairs oh he put that there so i'm having luca make breakfast while everyone is asleep okay. Okay, so Luca is actually making food. I saw someone walking around, and I guess it's, I guess it's um, Fiona, and she's super angry because she feels like her nails look bad and everything looks bad, and she's been working super hard, and she doesn't deserve any of this, so I think that calls for a spa day. Luca just made breakfast, and look at how yummy that looks. That looks so good, so let's go ahead and have some. And then we will go and have a spa day because I can't have her being angry just because it's not going to work well for me. So I'm, I'd am i rather have her go to this a local spa than have her blow up on everyone. Okay, so guys, we are finally in the city. We've never left our house ever since we moved because we just moved here like a few days ago um a few weeks ago we've been and it's just been so hard transitioning from living in a suburb to living in the countryside and even not just like from the moving but also from just trying to figure out what Fiona is going to do with her life because she has these kids she has to take care of she wants to be a stay-at-home mom she loves being a stay-at-home mom but she never built this like foundation of self before she had her kids and so now it's just her trying to figure out what she's going to do with her life as she is a stay-at-home mom and so she is very angry she has a lot of anger inside her especially with her being a high maintenance person like naturally being a high maintenance person like you can imagine how hard it is for her to just like give up everything being able to go to the store five minutes away from you like literally it takes an hour drive from the house to get to downtown or to get to the town and the town's super far but we are finally here we are finally at the spa we actually deserve to be here <laughs> we deserve this more than anyone else does um not because we are selfish but just because very a lot has happened and we want to find ourselves and we want to transition into this new life but it's just so hard it's just so hard so so hard especially if you have you know all these five other people you have to take care of plus six animals you know and you've never done this before and it's just you and you feel alone and so that's where Fiona is at right now with her life and so we figured let's just go to the spa, let's go to town, let's meet some new people. So that's what we're going to do today. It's just going to be focused on Fiona just because she is the one who has been through a lot with this whole move and transition. So we are at the town and look at this cute little sign. We can click on it and learn about the villagers and we can also read about the fair, which is so interesting because we've never got to really participate in any town activities. I think there's a royal around, so that's why she's curtsying, but we've never got to participate in any of these activities. So, yeah, welcome to Head and Forge on Bagley. Meet the residents of Henford who keep Fenwick running. Pitch in and become part of a community by taking the villagers, talking to them, and offering to help them in various errands. We have Agatha Crumplebottom is a garden shop owner. Agnes is a garden shop owner. And Ashley Willis is a grocery shop owner. So, you know, mm, we might get to know them, but let's go to the spa. Then there's also a fair, chicken competition, bring your luckiest chicken, purchase Ike egg competition and win ribbons okay so that's a fair revolving around chickens but that's not what we came to do love nope that is not what we came to do we came here to you know get into our spa mood so i think i'm gonna let fiona first start off by doing her own thing and let's see what she does so she's walked in there and i think she's doing yoga right now which is good it's good for her to practice wellness just because like if you don't have time for this, then 
you will go crazy as a parent you will go crazy so she has acquired the wellness skill and then once she does that i also want her to you know maybe let's go upstairs i want her to sit here and get her nails done so we're gonna have her sit and relax at the mas on the massage chair and then um eventually she could get a massage and and enjoy her day at the spa and i wanted to get her nails done but i don't see the chair to get your nails done so that is weird but whatever so this is her just walking around she's gonna sit here and relax i don't know why she's not changed into her bathrobe but yeah oh my god so the land grab okay so i just got a notification that power got shut off at my house so I don't have any water, I don't have any power. I wonder what how Luca is doing just cause I'm gonna have him tend to garden and I'm gonna have the kids just take care of themselves cause you know I've left them at home and I came to spa. She feels a little bit guilty, like we feel a little bit guilty but not that much just cause like we deserve this more than anyone. So not to be selfish or anything. We're also gonna light the incense which costs us money, yikes. And then we're gonna turn on this room lights i wanted to change into like the spa clothes so where's the locker room right here so let's have her why is there a baby in here change into like a spa outfit she's throwing something away some food where did that come from and why is there a baby we're also going to get something here from the vending machine. Um, actually, I'm not interested. But she's like washing. Oh, that's somebody else's kid. Why would you bring your kid to the spa? That's literally the reason why I'm not at home. I'm trying to get away from kids and you bring your kid here. Like, how rude. That is so rude. This is what happiness is about. Just relaxing and enjoying a time away from your exhausting family even though you love them so that's what she's doing right now and i will have her pay the bills while she's like taking her cute little mud soak because i think that's her job so um yeah thank you so much to luca for working so hard to provide it's time for the bills to be paid okay so now she stinks so she has to take an actual shower so i'm looking i'm so sorry for, play for playing from that angle um, so let's actually take a real shower and let's wash off here. Yeah, let's wash off over there. And then we have this cute little Zen garden here that we're going to come and soak in the hot springs. She's just washing up. Fiona has a eureka moment. Being a genius made her boost one of her skills. So she is a genius, by the way, you guys. Um, travel business. I'm trying to figure out where I pay the bills. I'm, I'm always so sure it's at home. But I don't. So we don't have enough money to pay the bills. We don't have enough money to pay for the bills. We might have to take out a loan. But for the time being... Let's relax in the hot springs. I mean, we already don't have money, right? So might as well just have the time of our lives. Like, might as well just have the time of our lives. Like, that's just what I think. I think if we don't have money, it's okay. But I think me saying that I'm not going to have the time of my life just because I don't have money is not okay. So we are finally getting our pedicure and manicures done. Like, I'm so excited because... It's about time, and I'm just sick of everyone and everything. And then my sister, Lori, is calling me, so I'm going to pick up. She said, quick question, Kyle, Kyleson and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? I'm going to say I think you should go for it. I mean, because why not? I'm having a good day. I think you should have a good day as well. So let's just speed this up so that we can go home to our babies. I thought I would get to know some locals a little bit better. But I think I'll get to know my nail tag, and then we're going to be friends with her, like, later. So, yeah, let's get to know our nail tag, and then through her, we can meet other people, just because, you know, I love getting my nails done. So, Fiona is happy from getting a manicure, and she's super confident, and, 
you know, and she's emotionally mindful from the wellness, and she's just at a spa, so she's feeling happy, she's feeling confident. I think it's time for us to go home, back to reality, just because our babies are sad, our babies are angry, like, Luca, is, is Luca not doing anything? Like, I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get that done. I'm actually gonna send her home. Um, but... My kids at home are so upset, and it, it sucks because I know that's what I'm going to walk into. Like, I'm in this world where it's just me, and I just get my foot massaged and all that stuff, and then now I have to go back home, back to reality, which is kids in my way, and, but it's fine. I love my kids, right? Isn't that what every mom does? Like, they complain about their children, but they end it with, I love my kids, though. Okay, I think we're finally done, and I think we're heading home now. It was a perfect spot day. I think it's a little cloudy outside, but I had I had a blast, so wait, let's go home. Okay, so we are back home, and um, she's still in a happy mood taking care of the babies. We are a little bit sad, so Piper is sad from crying and fussing, and I mean... <laughs> Why is Luca is sad from loss in the family? Who died? It doesn't help that literally I come back home and everyone is dead. Like, who died? I'm trying to figure out who in the family died. So let's go ahead and check. Yes, me. Um, I mean, I think she was dead. Abram Anderson. So Abram died, which is like our... Who would Abram be to us? Open sim profile. Uncle. Abram is our uncle. And he's only our uncle through room, um, <laughs> spotted cow. He's only our uncle through Fiona, so, yeah. Um, weird. So he is a little bit sad. So now that Caitlyn is happy, we're gonna put her in there. And then Piper is also angry from hunger, from hunger, so I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have him feed her. We just like unlocked milestones. Congratulations, you guys. Now try to go night night, both of you. And then let's deal with one more. So now she feels much better. And then we're going to put her to bed um, after then. And then we're going to put Piper down just because like it's time for you to go down. Oh no, look at this. My poor baby's just sitting on the floor just eating. Okay, fine. She's eating, which is good that she's doing that. Then we're gonna play with her just a little bit, just because we've been we've not been home all day, and I've paid attention to everyone else but her. Kind of sucks being a firstborn because it's like you get you get everything pretty much. Excuse me, but being a firstborn, you just get tended to less, especially if you have triplets after. Or yeah, so let's. Let's read her to sleep just because I wanted to feel my presence. Oh I wanted to feel, God. you know, like, like I love her. So we're going to, first I'm going to change my outfit into something a little bit more night-like, like my pajama outfit because it is 10 p.m. I'm trying to get all the kids to go to bed. And right now Bri Brielle is angry from, probably angry from being tired. So let's go ahead and put her to bed. Um... So I think we're going to pick her up. Yeah, she's going to pick her up and put her to bed, which is perfect, perfect, perfect. And then one of my toddlers are angry. Caitlin is angry from low attention and then from being awake for too long. Like, girl, go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, so Luca, check on her. We're going to soothe her to sleep. And then I know Piper is angry as well. She's sad because she's been awake for too long. So I'm going to have him soothe her to sleep as well. So now Brielle is going to bed. Finally, she's going to bed. And we have all these milk bottles around everywhere. I'm going to clean them up. Um, but right now, I guess I'm eating. So...
Okay, perfect. So all the kids are asleep, and now it's time for Fiona as a good wife to check on her husband and, you know, just make sure he's doing good just because he seems a little, he seems a little sad. So, yeah, I don't want him, like, moping around, so... And he is, so Luca right now is hungry. I'm actually going to have him eat something before the food goes, like, goes bad. And then I'm going to have him go to sleep. And then Brielle, this is where you come in and say, hey, I was at the spa all day, but here's what I did. Perfect. And then clean this up since it's all done. Actually, let's both have a glass of wine. Just because we can. And then I'm going to fix her bladder. Wangle fruit juice. Yips bamboo. Yips bone jam. Olivar the moon. Wow, the love language of touch from Fiona just made that moment truly magical for Lu Lucas. It has Lucas pondering of joy and tender caress from the commit of a warm embrace and a beloved sim. Is this moment a realization that Luca likes physical intimacy? I'd say yeah. He loves her so much and so yeah, he loves physical intimacy, of course. Um, mm, and then let's just say I love you and then we will end it for there. But guys, I think I will end my video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in to my next video. I want you guys to meet the rest of my family eventually, but for now, meet the Romanos. They are becoming my favorite family to play just because we're exploring these different family dynamics and all this drama that may, may come up. I mean, life is not pitch perfect, okay? But thank you guys so much for being here. I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.